Aaron is feeling just absurdly <laughs> cocky. Absurd. He is representative of the entire Georgia Bulldog <sighs> fan base. A Georgia Bulldog fan base that has fallen so hard that a home win against Kentucky is what they think is going to convince people that they're badass. We'll get into all of it. It's unbelievable. Um, we'll talk about some of the Heisman potentials start to uh, starting to emerge. We got our guy Gabe Eicher to three-time All-American guard from Oklahoma who hosts Big 12 today for Sirius. Also, it's the Oklahoma breakdown with Eichert and Lehman coming up at, uh, that'll be at 1230. He's going to jump in the show live. And um, we got our snaps top 10, which if you are here from Aaron's tweet stating that UGA now number one in the snaps top 10, understand that is a, um, just a ball, just a, is it bald face? <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a complete no, it lie. Yes, it no, is. No, it isn't. I'm not it's doing not it. I'm not signing off on it. You can have Aaron's top. You can have Aaron's UGA player lounge sponsored top 10. And that there can be. And that, yeah. yeah and go. that's. And that can have Georgia's number one. And no, Aaron does not have pink eye, Greg, but thank you for making himself conscious right here at the start. Did, he, he did, did Greg bad, ask that? Yeah, yeah. He it had a bad... He uh, red right I now. Know, I Greg? know, I know. Oh, he had a bad please. sky over the weekend, but he still oh. went on the SEC Nation because he's a beast. And I love you, Aaron. I just hate your attitude today. And Danny Bonilla, do I like Wendy's? Son, you, you don't think I've been pulling these nuts jokes off my entire life? Get the fuck out of here. Do you like Bofa? That's what I thought. Take a lap. Aaron, what's up, dude? Welcome in. Uh, welcome in, welcome in. Happy Monday. Uh, if you missed any of our recap shows, we'll continue to dive into a little bit, but make sure you go check that out. We, we hit a lot of the big-time games this weekend on the channel. Uh, like T said, we'll be doing a lot of live shows on YouTube very, very soon, possibly even daily. Um, yeah, so we're excited. Thanks for jumping in with us if you're live. Let's go. Very excited. Uh, now, let's get into it. The question that we're going to kick off today's show with, um, and we can get back to that question, Nate, but the Georgia Bulldogs come up with a big win. What was the final score? 51-13, 51-14? Yep, 51-13. Uh, 51-13 over the weekend. Uh, they beat Mark Poops. Nothing about this should be surprising. Um, the game was in Athens. Kentucky's not that good. Um, Kentucky plays a style of football that plays directly into Georgia hands. Uh, and yet despite this, Aaron, I'm supposed to suddenly now feel like the Bulldogs are the best team in college football. Uh, explain why. Well, the only reason we weren't crowning them the best team in college football was, was the fact that they haven't really played anyone. I get, I get where your, your reservation, you're not a big Kentucky fan. Like for but just, just plain and simple T Bob does not believe in the brand of Kentucky football. He's always True. had it against him. He's always had it in Mark Stoops. Like you were already jaded against the Wildcats. And, and two of your co-hosts, and I'm wearing Kentucky blue today, actually do believe it's a good football team. They're not going to win the SEC. They're not going to be in the playoffs. But it's a good football team. <laughs> it's going to be a team that's going to be 9-3, and T-Bob. At the end of the day, that's a quality win. That is how a really gonna, how the fuck do you know that Kentucky's going to be 9-3? and three? Louis, Louisville's going to probably Louis beat Louis that Bones. ass. Also, uh, I don't know. yeah, uh, yeah, shut the fuck up. This is my point, down, Aaron. Louisville this is my point. What's your we point? Don't, we we don't. Okay, first off, you wearing that blue shirt today, more like Kentucky. Secondly, uh, the point is we actually don't know if Kentucky's any good, Aaron. Why? Because you like wh okay, you answer me this. Why is Kentucky good this year? Tell me why. What have they done? What have they done? Yeah, they what beat are they the doing? crap out of Florida? Then you're like, well, Florida's not really good. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck exactly. They beat the you're shit out of the, Florida. But, but we, we we have to judge teams on the wins and then what those wins have looked like too. Like it, yes, it's part I agree. of it. Like you can only play the games that are on your schedule. And I'm going to judge you of like, okay, did you win the games you're supposed to win? And how did you look like in those football games? Which was yeah. going back to your original question, T Bob, uh -huh, uh -huh. of why have we been kind of down on Georgia this season? Well, they've won the games they're supposed to win. They're undefeated. They haven't lost in in two and a half years. Some crazy like six hundred days, whatever it's been. But they haven't looked dominant in those wins. So if you look at their schedule, Kentucky, as of to this point right now, is the team that is the best team on that schedule, and yeah. now. Beat Which them. isn't saying much, Aaron. I, if, I, if, no, if I, I take know. a, if, but they if showed I take us a shit and it smells less than <laughs> yours, it's still a shit. 
Like, you know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, so far, like, you and I both disagree on Kentucky, so I think that's where the disconnect is somewhat. But they dominated. I would say this. Apart, I would say they this on Kentucky. Apart. My point is, all y'all are crowning Kentucky for a hope. They beat Florida in Lexington. Billy Napier's they one and seven them. on the road in Lexington. He's one and seven on the road at Florida. Okay. Kentucky, previous to the Florida game, Aaron, their strength of schedule was like 130, and they didn't look good in any of those games. Yeah. You fucking chose Florida to beat them. You told us all week about how bad Kentucky was and Florida was going to beat them. I didn't, so first off, I never said Kentucky about? was bad. I never said Kentucky was bad. Never in my about? mouth have I said this year. Oh, that you're right. I forgot. I forgot. Never in my other, mouth. Your never other weird mouth. fetish this season is celebrating Graham Mertz stat lines. So for some reason, you thought that Graham Mertz was going to go get it done. Well, um, well, I mean, I celebrate Graham Mertz because at the beginning of the season, I had Graham Mertz as the worst quarterback in the SEC. So I'm like, okay, like I, I set the bar really low, and he's kind of exceeded those expectations. So like, I, yeah, I'll be hell. Yeah, you you surprised look, me. Look, and look, Kentucky is the opposite of that. Again, go. here's go. here's my whole point. Here's my whole point. I'm not saying Georgia is bad by any stretch of the imagination. Like that's what I got. That's what I got to have y'all understand. I know what I yeah. am fighting against is this notion that Kentucky somehow proves a single thing to me. That the last night, because I don't give a shit. I don't you. give a shit. Aaron, okay. what did I say this entire offseason? That Georgia was going to dominate every single game they played. They were going to put up massive stats and that they would still lose in the playoffs. That I don't mm -hmm. care about what Mike mm -hmm. Bobo or Carson Beck do to, to Michigan. Michigan beat fucking Minnesota 52 to 10. Done? Who is Maybe, Michigan being? Ah, you're Who is Michigan am I, being? Am I taking why, crazy why is Michigan's schedule am harder I taking than crazy Georgia's? Bills? It's not hard. Why They're is their schedule shit. harder? They're both shit, but they've done exactly everything you've talked about. They've done the entire season. You did it once against Kentucky. They beat Nebraska 45 7 on the road. They beat Michigan 52 to 10 on the road. They beat Rutgers 31 7 at home. Like, what are you talking about? They've done the same thing you've done. They've only done it slightly better. And that's what we're doing. We're having, going on the road to Auburn is significantly harder than going on the road to Nebraska. And you didn't win 45 7, did you? I know. Okay. I, so I agree. No, I agree. I'm look, just saying they're like, no, the like I don't know. Is, how you, they're both in the same bucket to me. Yeah. Michigan has had a couple more games where they've, yeah, they've Michigan's been better, dominated, but yes. yeah. So Michigan's been better. That's exactly what we're I, talking about. I, I'll go. Um, I'll go with this point. What I said this week, T Bob, before I don't know if you want to, but these two teams after this weekend, in my mind, separated themselves from the rest of the country. They've been, and separated. those are the two teams. No, they, they have not. Well, they're the only teams. I mean, we 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 don't put them number one in our list because we believe in doing a, you know, a more resume based top ten. Like we want to reward teams that actually play good teams and win big games. But whenever we've talked about national championship favorites, we never really get past Michigan. We say maybe a Washington's capable, maybe this or yeah. that, that are capable. But no, UJ and Michigan have remained the answers. That's my point, guys. Georgia, it's not bad. It's a great performance. Awesome. Carson Beck looked good. The only reason, but you got to recognize the only reason why it feels as good for y'all as it does is because you looked shittier than expected at the beginning of this year. Like that's the only reason it feels so good. If you would have said before the season, you beat Kentucky 51 13, you'd have been like, yeah, games in Athens for sure. It's fucking Kentucky. Like, of course, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what yeah. to tell you, dude. Uh, I think, I think for me, I think, I think says, UJ better than LSU cry more. UJ would, UJ would beat LSU. I'm not out of your fucking saying that, dude. Who the fuck's gonna LSU can't stop Carson Beck? But Carson Beck's not that good. He's 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 a great college quarterback. He's not elite. He's not elite. Mm, he is all. elite. He is elite. Oh really? God. You want to go in the numbers? You want to look in the numbers? For a guy that's not been asked to really do anything this entire season, but then when when the game's on the line for huh. two games, he finds a way to win the football game, and then finally the Bobo puts the ball in his hands for four quarters, and he goes out there and throws for four touchdowns and only eight incompletions. Not, not been asked to do anything, and yet he actually does have he's second in yards per game in the SEC. So he's yeah. actually been asked he to do quite a, big a bit. Big damn plays, no, um, most of plays. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look. So, so this is your guy that you're claiming to elite. Uh, he's a fifteenth, fifteenth. Yeah. Highest rated passer uh, in the country. Pretty damn good, right? But fourth in good. the SEC alone. He's behind Jaden Daniels. He's behind Brady Cook. He's behind Jalen Milrow. Uh, he's 33rd in the country with 11 touchdowns. Great job there, buddy. That's, I mean, that's, that's Heisman numbers. He's eighth in the country in yards per game. So there we go. He's thrown more picks 
Then Dylan Gabriel, Jaden Daniels, Brady Cook, Caleb Williams, Bo wow. Nix, Mike Pinnock Sr., Cam Ward, Jackson. Picks. Jackson. Wow. Hey, the facts are the facts. Wow. Okay, okay listen, picks. listen, listen to everything I'm wow. saying. Wow. 15th passer rating. You're the one saying elite. I say great. Wow. These are great, not elite. He's 15th the passer rating, 33rd in touchdowns, eighth in yards. He's thrown more picks than everybody I just named. You didn't even let me get this. And let's again, because we talk about Georgia having an easy schedule, but let's actually Ver vo verbalize the opponents. UT Martin, Ball State, South Carolina, UAB, Auburn, and Kentucky with one road game. One road game. So the guy that you're telling me is elite has put up significantly worse numbers than everybody I just named, and he's played a significantly, significantly, significantly. Easier Oh, I don't know if is the right, the, right, the right thing. Yes, he's multiple touchdowns you, you behind just, everybody. See, you're, you're, this is the problem with you. You're, you're, you're Mr. Robot Man. All you want to do is look at numbers and numbers and numbers. You don't want to look <laughs> at how Georgia plays a football game. I don't, don't want, want to watch, watch Ball State film or you okay, can't I get film. that. But then I do, and I do, and I watch how this team performs. I watch what they're trying to accomplish. And right now, they're not trying to be Washington. They're not trying to be LSU, who's having to score 50 points per game to win. Like for the first part of the first part of the season, they were not healthy. They didn't have their best receiver. They were just skating by. And that's why we're, our big beef with Georgia is they're not, they're not dominating. They're not trying to dominate either. They were just oh getting their God. feet wet, just oh getting God. through the season. Like that was, what they were argument. essentially Georgia was sleepwalking we, through the first we give five games of free, the season. We, what, we're supposed to crown them because I'm not, they were give, I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with it, but yeah, they were. Sure. He doesn't get he to were. be a fucking Heisman candidate and Dylan like, Gabriel is smashing so he, him in numbers and has a bigger win and play way harder schedules. And I mean, I'm not Caleb saying, Williams and I'm not, I'm not smashing saying him, Dylan Gabriel. Gabriel. Smashing him. Michael but Caleb Williams has him. to put up those kind of numbers because his defense sucks. Bo oh, Nix yeah. and that offense, like every offense is different. You can't compare Georgia's offense and what they're trying to accomplish as a football team to, to the, the teams on the West Coast who's – are built to score 50, 60 points per game. It's different. It's different. The function of their offense is significantly different. The tempo on which they run, the plays they call to execute. I'm talking about from a pure, from what Carson Beck is asked to do as a Carson quarterback. Beck's great. In that team. Elite. He's great. He's not elite. I don't know to tell you. Uh, Cody Brune, if Carson Beck is elite, then Jaden Daniels is the best QB ever to play college. I mean, Jaden Daniels has won, what, three SEC Offensive Players of the Week in a row now? Jaden Daniels is pretty damn good. Yeah. But he also has to score 50 points per game in order to win. Yeah, see, but that's, that's what I like, dude. Just put a fucking pile of pure Colombian offense on my desk every single Saturday and watch yeah. me snort it till my heart explodes. Um, Dobby says, I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, Dobby. We're just having spirited conversation. We're not arguing. I just can't believe that Aaron's sitting here trying to tell me that uh, that that do you not that believe Carson Beck is a, 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 top, a first round, a, a first round draft pick? Uh, yeah, I mean he has that potential. He's he's massive. He's a fucking giant. He's like the most prototypical Thank quarterback you. body I've ever seen in my entire life. He's massive, massive yeah. with a massive arm, accurate, can make every throw in the fucking book, and he's more athletic than what people thought he would be to start the season. Yeah, like, the fifty I, yards on twenty carries definitely says that. I'm just kidding. I know sacks and everything, and I get, I get. Um, look, your first again, round potential first round draft pick eventually this year, that next year, you're, you're an elite quarterback. There's no way that no, but we're talking about in college. He's not playing at the level of those other guys. I just don't know. Until, he's just not. And, and you can't, how many games have those other guys started? How many games have those other guys started compared to Carson? Well, I, we ain't talking potential. Just, you tell I'm me just, now. No, 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 no. You didn't say I'm potential. Just saying. You didn't say potential. But, but, we talking but about that's now. But, but that's what I'm talking about. Why, why is Georgia now, in my opinion, back up to one? And and because they they've not looked at the top thing. A big question was is at what point is Carson going to take control of the entire offense? Because I know, and a lot of people who watch him know what kind of talent he has. It was a, a factor of when is the coaching staff going to let him go? When do they trust that? Okay, we've given him a few games. We know what he can do now, not just in practice, but on an actual game field. Now you're going to see him elevate where these other quarterbacks have an opportunity to kind of go through the ups and downs, get the feel of playing at being a college football quarterback. This was Carson's essentially coming out party, in my opinion. 
And I think now you're going to start to see this offense <laughs> Why tailor didn't he itself to letting him go big numbers. Why didn't he come out of Jordan Hare? You know, I mean, I think he, he did has, a little bit. Why, why does he, he have? Half. Why does he have worse numbers than everyone with an easier schedule and the best team? You know, and the best team around him, the best coach, the best everything. Why are why are his numbers so much worse? I don't know because he's great. He's not elite right now. He, he has potential to be elite. Sure, be a first round pick. Sure, but then again, you could be a first round pick and not be elite. You know, my dog. I love Anthony Richardson. Yeah, it's it's been a mixed bag in the NFL so far, right? But he got drafted in the first round. He just can't say healthy. Josh Allen fucking sucked in college. He's awesome in the NFL. So yeah, Carson Beck, sure. I'll always go. I mean, he has the body. Don't get me wrong, but uh, okay, okay, okay. Again, though, this is a weird place for me to be because there's no way that my words aren't going to be misconstrued. All I'm saying is this weekend did nothing for me for Georgia. This is exactly mm -hmm. who I thought they'd be entering the season. They remain that team. I still but question what are Beck and Bobo going to do when they run into an actual team that is near and or on their level. And 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 that list is probably very short, right? It's a Michigan. It it's uh, I would give Alabama. Washington a chance against them. I would give Alabama a chance. Alabama's defense. If you want to talk, yeah, yeah. you brought yeah, up, you said sure. Bobo, you said you said Bobo and Carson. So like if Alabama yeah. does come out of the West, like that is a, a top five defense, maybe the best defense in college football. Like that yes. would be a great matchup. Yes. Um, yeah. I think Oklahoma's real. Uh, I think Texas remains real. So like that's always been what's going to give me to say I was wrong and I'm very impressed with Beck and Bobo is winning those games, not beating Kentucky at home in Athens. It wasn't even in Lexington. It wasn't even in Lexington guys. They were between the hedges at night. If you can't show out between the hedges at night, then, then you're dickless. Like, so congratulations. You're not dickless. That's a good place to be.